In this video, I wanna talk about how you can naturally reduce stress and prolong longevity. And before we get started, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Now, one of my favorite things is hacking stress. The more stress you have, honestly, the worse quality your life becomes. And the problem is most people don't consciously choose where they want stressors in their life, leading from eustress to distress, leading to worse sleep, to worse quality of life. So let's go through five of my top favorite tips for making sure that you can reduce stress in the areas that you want to and increase good eustress in the areas that you would actually like to have the stress coming into your life. Tip number one, it's gonna be something that you're probably not used to doing, set time for yourself. This could be thinking time, this could be time to just go on a walk and do whatever you really want to do, but the problem is most of us don't actually set time for ourselves and just believe that at certain times we're gonna get, oh, an hour here, an hour there, we watch a Netflix special, we do something like that. But the reality of it is you need to make sure that you have the time for yourself to decompress, to de-stress, and to allow your mind to explore. Because if you aren't doing that, you're going to get all these chaotic thoughts built up and you're gonna have a lot of things pushing you in a certain direction, causing more stress. And remember, stress is internal for the most part. And so when we don't allow the internal processes to do what they want to do, whether that's stretching, whether that's thinking, we are going to have more stress than we thought, and that will lead to diminished quality of life. Tip number two is set a bedtime routine. A lot of us go from work, texting, social life, directly into sleep, but we don't actually sleep. And that's a very big problem. And the reason is when we are going to sleep, we're kind of entering you know, this different phase of our day. And when we're entering that phase, we need to have a different mindset. So one of the most interesting things that I read recently from Robert Caldini is when we walk through different doorways, we actually have a different mindset, a different part of us kicks on. That's why when you get into the gym, some people need to go to a physical gym. You feel, okay, I'm pumped. I'm ready to do whatever I need to. When you get to an office, office, you go, oh, I'm ready to work. Your mind has these different types of environments which change it to the mindset that you need to match that time. Now, the problem is most of us in our bedrooms do everything. We eat, we watch TV, we drink, we might have people over and we all chill in the bedroom. And that leads to that doorway, that portal, not being what you want it to be. So one of the easiest ways to kind of reverse engineer that and allow the mind to calm down and de-stress before you go to bed is to set a nighttime routine that triggers the brain similar to walking through a doorway into allowing it to rest and decompress. So for instance, one thing that I love to do every single night is I make sure to pull out my journal, I journal a bit, I read light while reading or listening to an audiobook, and then I allow my mind to wander, kind of like I was mentioning in tip number one, and really make sure to enter that dream state from this positive, grateful mindset. And that really allows me to decompress. Some other things that you could be doing is stretching, is maybe don't drink water because that's gonna make you wake up in the middle of the night and pee, but it could be calling a friend that you love, or maybe it is watching something on Netflix, like a comedy that allows your mind to go elsewhere, get into that giggly, fun state, and then drift off to sleep. But making sure that you have a routine that fits you is gonna be one of the most important things that you could do to decrease stress and better sleep leads to less stress throughout the day. Number three, make sure you're eating enough. Yes, I know, days are incredibly busy and maybe you're on a fat loss protocol or maybe you're trying to do some sort of diet that you really aren't that good at yet but it's taking some time so you're not eating as much as you should if you aren't eating enough inherently you are going to be stressed out because the more that you are in a calorie deficit the less energy your body has and stress is literally the the and stress is quite literally not enough energy for a certain situation maybe that's mental energy maybe maybe that's physical energy but but the, but the reality of it is, if you don't have enough actual energy in your body, your body isn't nourished, it's not getting the fruits and vegetables it needs, it's not getting all these different nutrients that it needs, then you're going to be physiologically stressed, which is going to lead to a mental stress, which creates a negative feedback loop that just catapults. So make sure you actually are eating enough and do that in any way that really suits you. I'm not trying to pressure you into some diet, but make sure that you're eating enough. Tip number four, choosing the right stressors. 
So I wanna make this abundantly clear. Throughout life, you will have stressors. There is no way to get rid of all stress. And the more that you try that, the more stressed out you are actually going to be. So instead of stressing about trying not to stress, what I recommend is to make sure that you are choosing your stressors. Maybe that's an hour workout class where you hit it as hard as you can. Maybe that's a cold plunge. Maybe that's breath work. Whatever that is for you, if you continually make sure that you are consciously choosing the stressors that you want in your life, then you are in control of that stressor. And similar to how hermetic philosophy says that free will is kind of identifying different waves and knowing the ups and downs, you can then understand, okay, now I'm going to be a bit stressed because I'm choosing it, meaning that now your mind isn't going to reverse into that negative stress pattern and you have full control and likely the stressor that you're using is benefiting either your psyche, your body, or just your life in the future. So making sure that you consciously choose your stressors is going to be one of the most powerful things that you could ever do for your life. And number five, this one's gonna be a bit different, is physical touch. Now, maybe this is sex for you. Maybe this is giving someone that you love a hug. Maybe this is going to one of those cat cafes and just allowing cats to walk all over you. And whatever that is for you, make sure to find some way to actually get some human interaction, to give someone a hug, to touch someone, to have that embrace. Because as humans, connection can be one of the most important ways for us to truly find our tribe, to express ourselves, and to de-stress completely. Because the moment that we touch someone else, we realize that all of these things that are causing stress in our lives are just kind of made up and we could be so much more. And so that is one of my favorite tips for de-stressing. Drop below how you like to de-stress daily. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so you get content when it comes out just like this in the near future. Mm -hmm.